Hey, where are you going? Champ? Slugger? Hey, cowboy. Where are you going? Where are you going? I'm going out! Hey, everybody. Heading south on I-65 between Huntsville and Birmingham, and a thought struck me. I was reading the other night from the Gospel of Matthew, the story where Jesus walks on the water and then Peter requests that Christ let him come out on the water too and to come towards him. And it's a story that I'm sure most of us are familiar with. The Apostle Peter steps out onto the water, a very bold thing to do, and then all of a sudden he starts getting distracted by the storm that is going on. There's wind, there's waves, there's rain, and he starts looking to the right and the left and seeing how turbulent the sea is, and he takes his eyes off of Christ and immediately he starts sinking into the water. And I think that, that says a lot about the way that we're supposed to look at Christ in our life. Everybody has storms. I don't care who you are, I don't care what kind of life that you live, whether you're rich or you're poor, you live in the country, you live in the city, whether you've got a lot of family, whether you have virtually no family, everybody's got storms. Everybody has things in their life that just don't go their way. Things that they have to deal with, whether it's money, whether it's sickness, something happens to everybody on a pretty regular basis. And I think that where we start going wrong, where we start sinking is when we start focusing on the waves, we start focusing on the rain, we start focusing on the storms in our life rather than looking forward at Christ. Now, Peter already knew that the sea was stormy. He was in a boat. He was very aware of the fact that the storm was raging pretty heavy at that point. So what happened? He started out right, and then when he stopped focusing on Christ and started focusing on the terrible things going on around him when he started focusing on them and that became the focus, he became afraid and he started sinking. And that's kind of like driving in a lot of ways. If you focus too much on the storm, if you focus on what's going on around you, if you focus too much on the other cars or start looking behind you and worrying about that, then you're going to lose focus on your goal and you're either going to go in the wrong direction or unfortunately, much worse, you wind up wrecking. That's obviously not good. And so just like Peter, I think that the point of that story is that we have to keep our eyes constantly focused on Christ. Are we aware of the storm? Sure. Do we do the best that we can to deal with the circumstances of our life? Absolutely. That's something that the Bible really helps us with. But there's a difference in being aware of the storm and doing something to, to deal with the storm and focusing on the storm. We focus on Christ. And if we focus on Christ, we have faith in Him that, yes, the storm is there, yes, we know it's there, but that whatever the storm happens to throw at us, it'll be okay because our focus is on Christ. It's a question of our priorities, and it's also a question of, do you trust God enough to bring you through this storm? And if the answer is yes, then all we have to do is look at Christ, keep ourselves focused on Him, and walk straight ahead. And that is going to be a much better way to live than constantly worrying about whatever new wave or whatever new rain or whatever new wind shows up in our life. Keep our eyes focused on Christ and walking forward so that one day we reach out.